Welcome back to the Relaxing Ghost Channel here on YouTube. Today's video is going to be about my LJN figure collection. Only got about 12 of these in a, the collection, so this will be a fairly quick video. So, from here on out, every week I'll release a collection video. And when the last pay-per-view of 2017 is out, so the Clash of Champions DVD comes out, I'll be doing a full DVD collection. So let's get into it, guys. So LJN were like the first figures that were released, I believe, back in the, the early to mid-80s. Most of these are, are from like the... 86 87 time period so let's start it off we got the british bulldogs here we got davy boy dynamite and you know these are fairly used you know being like 30 years old now yeah I see 86 ljn you know and these were the toys that you know we we grew up on like very good detail though on these like look at these head scans um very good i i really like these figures quite a bit and you know to see the evolution of figures from what they once were you know a hard piece of rubber that you could you know barely move their arm to what they are now you know fully full range of motions on their their arms their hands their legs their ankles their heads their their abs everything pretty much moves on them so it, it's been a big evolution of figures and moving on up next we got the killer bees b brian blair and jumping jim brunzel so again pretty similar to the uh bulldogs and these are from 87 so pretty old figures here going on like 30 years so moving on up to the mid card situation we got former intercontinental heavyweight champions the honky tonk man and honky's pretty uh he's pretty beat up here you know look at his nose his paints all peeling off and his hand you know, his skin almost looks purple. And again, 88, this this figure. I don't have the guitar, but I've, I've seen, uh, you know, several of his. And this one, I didn't know who this was for so long, but that's Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Doesn't look like Steamboat. Plain black tights, black boots. And that's from 86. So, pretty cool to have a, a old school uh, steamboat in the collection. Next up, we got... Uh... Oh, God. Captain Lou Albano. Famous for being in part of the Rock and Wrestling Connection and all that stuff. Cindy Lauper. And uh, former governor of Minnesota, Jesse the Body Ventura. He actually might be one of my favorites. For a long time, I thought that was Hogan in uh, pink tights, but uh, it is Jesse Ventura. And again, 1986. And uh, Louis Albano wants to fall down. And <laughs> Albano is probably the heaviest. And moving up to the main event. Going up to WrestleMania 5, 6, and uh, 7 collectively. We got the Ultimate Warrior. Awesome Warrior figure. That's probably one of my favorites as well as the Ultimate Warrior figure here. You know, look at that detail on the boots and on the face paint. Pretty cool. This might be from uh, 88. So these ones have the stamp on the boot. 89. 
Grand Toys Titan Sports. And then we got a, a pair of Macho Man figures. Uh, I'm really uh, satisfied that I have these Macho Man figures in my collection. Macho Man, I, I love him. He's probably, you know, in my top 10 favorite of all time. He's one of the greatest in-ring performers I've ever seen. So colorful and flamboyant. 1986 and uh what what figure collection would be incomplete without a hulk hogan and he's in the non-traditional white and red i've seen the uh red and yellow i i like this one a lot more in the red and white and of course we have the infamous hogan shirt cut up 86 so there we have it guys let me know if you guys have any of these uh ljn figures in your collection i um you know i'll probably never sell them or get rid of them but it is cool to you know check these out every now and again and show you guys this part of my collection so let me know your thoughts on these ones, guys. If you have any LJN figures in your possession, comment down below. We'll talk to you guys later. Peace.